everybody, my name is Vahagni and I'm going to break down this falsetta that I just played. Um, so I'll play it one more time really slow. Uh, an interesting part about this little falsetta is that, you know, it's tuned down to D, the sixth string. And uh, it's really uh, coming from a, a, a bulerias, from a flamenco palo, which is, uh, has a 12 beat cycle to it. And a lot of times, like in this falsetta, in the beginning, you're kind of just feeling it in sixes. With the right hand, we're using kind of like a hybrid uh, pulgar technique and thrown in the eye finger a lot. And what's causing the really cool effect is uh, the pull-offs and hammer-ons. So, key thing is to have your right hand, the wrist, really, really uh, loose and relaxed. Um, and basically what's really happening is uh, this sound. fast that's when you get that really cool effect um, and it's really simple I mean it's not it sounds harder than it really is you know your wrist is just basically relax you're in a pretty uh, natural uh, position you know and it's a combination of, of your, your finger and your wrist so it's it's it has kind of like a bouncy effect to it um, that's that part uh, coming in thing here it's just basically uh, like a really fast triplet it, but it's supposed to sound like you know really percussive also um, and what I'm doing is up with the thumb down with these two fingers or you can just use the ring if you want and then down with the thumb again so you get this sound here it's really snappy you know and again your wrist should be really really relaxed um, moving forward, we get to this part right here where we do a lot of strumming. Okay, now all that is is really, you start off with a down stroke with the thumb and a golpe, and I'm doing the golpe with my middle finger. Then after that, it's a lot of I uh, coming up and down. Every time you're coming up, um, that's one thing, and every time you're going down, that's when you actually do the golpe. So the golpe and the, and the index finger together, you know, uh, you just want it to be really relaxed. You don't, you know, really want to forcefully hit the guitar a lot. So it's just kind of like coming into it, you know, coming into the into the soundboard here. And I use a little bit of my elbow and my hand, you know, just to, to make it easier. Like this thing right here. Um, so once we do that, now this thing again, it's just like what we did here, but I'm using M, I, and then I'm coming back up with I. And I kind of uh, snap that out of my thumb, you know, so I kind of pull up here. And I just snap away. And again, very percussive. You know, you should never, you should never, you should never roll you know, the strings. It's everything's very like just one, one little hit. Um, so the rest is the same. And now these triplets again, we're doing up with the thumb, down with. Or you can just use A, that's how I do it most of the time, and then back down with the thumb. So you get, and then you loop that. And again, everything we do, you know, we just want to make sure the wrist and everything, you know, your, your, your hand, your arm, your shoulder, everything's just really relaxed. And after that, we finally finish it off. Alright, 
So these are just up and down strokes. And I throw up some ghost notes in there, you know. Alright, that's it. Um, thanks for subscribing to Fingerstyle Guitar Magazine. Thanks for reading my column. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.